This is Brandon Schubert coming to you from Gain Strength Training Gym. Uh, today we're talking about assistance exercises for the squat and deadlift. Um, the the uh, exercise that we're talking about today is the Zercher squat. The specific variation we're going to be covering, I'm going to be covering, is the uh, Zercher squat from the deep position of the squat, and we're going to be coming off of the uh, the pins in the squat rack. So one of the big issues with uh, squatting and deadlifting big weights is making sure your abdomen is engaged just as much as your spinal erectors are. For a lot of people, um, the abdominal wall is weak, and when they go to squat or deadlift heavy weights, what they find is that there is a lot of uh, compression or potentially a lot of shear in the lumbar um, without nearly as much engagement in the front section of the abdomen. Um, so one of the big uses of this exercise is making sure that everyone is, every uh, athlete is staying engaged in the front side section of their abdominal wall as they squat and or deadlift. So <clears throat> I'm going to start by showing the deep squat from pins um, from a low setting. Um, and uh, in my opinion, the deep squat and stabilizing the deep squat is probably one of the best things you can do to make sure you don't have back pain, to make sure you don't have issues with um, compressing your lumbar vertebrae um, and the reason for that is the deep squat is the most range of motion if you have more stability and more motor control over the whole range of motion then you're going to be uh, less set up and less prone to uh, injuring your lower back uh, at higher weights at smaller ranges of motion so in general you're trying to put as much range of motion on uh, a movement as you can to reinforce stabilization of your entire uh, thorac thoracopelvic um, center. So what people will now call the trunk, some people used to call it the core, now we're calling it the trunk. Um, the big uh, understanding to, to kind of glean from this is that you can use whatever pin setup height you want. I would obviously start and advocate for a deep squat position just so people have to learn it from the hardest position possible and you're always going to get stronger as the range of motion decreases on the way up. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate this at multiple pin heights but I'm going to start at the bottom and what you're going to see is um, I, get, I get exponentially stronger as the as the uh, pin heights go up. So here it is from the bottom setting. So I have my bar in the squat rack I'm going to pull myself under the bar using tension. I'm going to keep my feet glued into the floor. I'm going to set my elbows up under the bar and I'm going to do three repetitions, keeping my chest as upright as I can and keeping everything as stiff as possible through my trunk. That's the bottom position Zercher squat off of pins um, in order to create a lot of stiffness in uh, that pattern. What you need to do is make sure that everything is stiff underneath the bar before you come up. There's no momentum helping you uh, if you're somebody who's a squatter that uh, bounces off the bottom or if somebody who is a deadlifter that likes to bounce their reps a lot. This can help increase the amount of uh, abdominal tension within uh, those movements. So now I'm going to raise the pin heights up and you'll see the movement becomes a lot easier uh, because the range of motion is shorter. So I'm going to set up the exact same way. I'm going to keep my feet glued into the floor. I'm going to pull myself under the bar. And then I'm going to get my elbows in position and stand back up. So because this is a halfway position, this may be a better spot for people who are working on uh, uh, 
uh, deadlifting as opposed to full squatting. But uh, give each variation a try. That's been some demonstration of the Zercher squat uh, off of pins. You can always use Zerchers with chains or bands or anything else you want. But as far as creating a lot of abdominal tension, Zercher squat will help your squat and deadlift quite a bit. Um, that's all for today. Have a good one. And keep your abs engaged and your squats and deadlifts.